Is this a new trend? Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakahakwadash. I'm Taziar Gabar from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp. The honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, and peace and salutation all down unto the hopeful elect. I spread it across the world, pushing out the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and I'm going to do a video on the topic of these Israelite celebrity men wearing purses to fulfill Esau's gender agenda on feminizing the men. All right. And I came across a comment that I was reading on Twitter. And one of them said, why is Javante Davis wearing a purse? And of course, you got two thirds niggas. Two third niggas, you know, defending him, all right, and you no know, kind. Uh, I'm trying to remember remember what one of them said. Um, like it was saying how he could do whatever he want. Um. Oh, one dude said they called it drip, you know, which drip is basically a slang for dressing real good. You know how Jake used to say swag. They don't say that no more. They say drip. So they saying they call a man wearing a purse drip now, you know, and Jake try to make it look cool. Try to justify it by putting millions of dollars inside of it, you know, which it just shows you the estate that, you know, the Israelite man is in, you know, which the the video that I just showed sh proves it to you, you know. You had two chains. Um, Shannon Sharp, Bad Bunny, which she's a Fruit Loop, you know. And um, the other guy, Mayweather. So obviously, this is being promoted to furthermore weaken and effeminize the man, right? And it ultimately goes against the Lord, the ways of the Lord. So I'm going to get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So a woman putting on pants, um, you know, basically dressing like a dude. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is that? The dress, skirts, heels, you know, which you got these celebrities doing that. Um, Russell Westbrook, he goes to the NBA conference or whatever, wearing high heels and skirts. You got Cam Newton. All right. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. And another trend that's going on is these men paint their fingernails, all right? And, you know, which that's why they got this dude, young boy, doing it, putting on lipstick, makeup. So, you know, this dude, Javante Davis, was seen at, at his little face-to-face uh, -face with Ryan Garcia with a damn purse. And he tried to make fun of Ryan Garcia by saying, um, why are you wearing heels on? Then 
which which that's the same that's going under the same thing wearing what um pretending to a woman you know as far as the garments the the dresses the skirts um you know heels that's going into the clothing of a woman too but garcia came back and was like and you were a purse yesterday you know which these celebrities know what they're doing. They get paid to do these things. You know, you if you if you were to see a nigga wearing a purse and heels and stuff back in the 80s, they would get, you know, jumped. That or, or ro roasted to death, all right? So, this is the ways, this is the way of Esau, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. He using these celebrities to push out these um, wicked agendas to make the Israelite man um, sodomites, you know, or at least dressing like one. And by these niggas doing this, um, the youth... You know, you young Israelite males, y'all gonna start following them because this is who they look up to, you know. Soon you're gonna be seeing niggas walking around with fingernail polish on. Shoot, wearing purses, lipstick. Which, um, that was in that scene in the boondocks. You know, you had Raleigh. He was following after his favorite rapper. Um, damn, what was his name? Gangsta delicious, yeah. Uh, he started dressing like him. The rapper told him, wearing his um tank top, rolled up to the chest, was was cool, and he had to do putting on um his pants. No, nah, no, nah, he had him wearing a skirt, and a and a purse. But Lord willing, I'll put that clip in here, but. I remember when that scene came out, and that's exactly what these niggas doing today. You know, which that that animation, Boondocks, had exposed a lot of stuff that be going on in the industry. You know, but this is Deuteronomy twenty two and five. One more time, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Why is that? Because it's confusion. A woman is given the job of a woman role and a man is given the job of being a man all right neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abomination to the lord thy power yeah how you no know, first corinthians 6 and 9 i'm gonna get precept which i did a video on this already but you know it got lost you know my channel got striked This is First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. And that's also going into having a effeminate trait. You know, this dude is a, a boxer, a professional athlete. You know, he knocked people out for a living. But the devil Esau got him dressing like this, wearing a purse. You know? Goes to show you that these, these athletes and celebrities don't have control over their own life. You know, 
with a pink puffer coat on. You know, so Jake is through. All right. So no man having effeminate traits is going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. All right. So, um, yeah, and the Lord requires masculine men. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I got right to the point. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakan Kodash. I'm Taz Yar Gabar from Prophets of Babylon, Waco, Texas. Under the branch of the Prophets of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and peace and salutation on down to the hopefully elect. I'm gonna say Shalom. I'm Bob Babal soon.